Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Hope and Finn are stressed about Deacon and Sheila's wedding. In Eric's workplace, the consequences from Deacon's approaching marriage continued. Brooke asked Hope whether she had talked her father out of it. Steffi yelled, wondering who Deacon imagined would watch the train wreck wedding. Steffi argued that Sheila's new character was a ruse, and she refused to allow Sheila pull Finn into her life as well. Brooke remarked that Sheila had caused chaos and violence in their lives, and she questioned why Deacon would want someone like that. Rich concluded that Sheila was playing Deacon in the same way she had Eric. Steffi stated that she did not trust anyone who trusted Sheila, and that everyone who supported Sheila should stay away from Finn. Brooke assured Steffi that Hope would not try to talk Finn out of it, but Brooke warned Hope that if she put her foot down, Deacon could reconsider. Hope explained that she had already cut him out of her life, but he still wanted Sheila. Brooke inquired about Beth, and Hope stated that she would always protect the children. Steffi informed Finn to stay away. Hope inquired if Steffi had issued him an ultimatum. You're damn right, I gave him an ultimatum. Steffi roared. Hope felt this meant Steffi had encouraged Finn not to see Sheila again. Steffi believed she had, and she stated that he was faithful and committed to her. After Steffi had left, Brooke and Ridge continued to persuade Hope to give up on Sheila. Hope stated that she would never forgive or forget what Sheila had done to the people she cared about, but she couldn't deny that Sheila had not attempted to harm Steffi at the cliff home. Brooke encouraged Hope not to give Sheila any thought. Hope said that it was not about Sheila for her. Hope, who had already lost so much, did not want to lose her father again. Hope mentioned something else regarding the wedding that she had not wanted to express in front of Steffi. Hope explained that Deacon had asked her to be the maid of honor. Ridge and Brooke were outraged by Deacon's plea, and Ridge believed Hope had declined. Brooke told Hope that Steffi was right about her, even if Brooke didn't want to believe it. Brooke and Ridge informed Hope that it was unacceptable. Hope stated that she was not inviting Sheila into her life. Ridge claimed Sheila merely needed a crevice to slide through. Hope argued that she would only make an appearance for her father, but Ridge stated Sheila would not view it that way. Brooke told Hope she couldn't do it. Hope argued that it was not about Sheila, but about her connection with her father. Sheila told me at I.L. Giardino that she knew her son cared for her. She claimed that he had saved her life twice, and that she would never forget the sweet words he had uttered when he and Deacon discovered her in the warehouse. Sheila didn't want to disrupt Finn's marriage, but she claimed it would mean everything to her if he was present for her on her wedding day. Finn was thrilled for Sheila and wished her the best. Sheila wondered if it was too much to ask Finn to dig deep and be Deacon's best man. Assuming he couldn't provide his dedication because of his marriage, Deacon urged Sheila against pushing. Finn was glad he'd been asked, but he knew Sheila wanted more. Sheila, who hadn't meant to push, was relieved Finn didn't regard her as a monster. She regretted the dreadful things she had done and did not want to go back. She explained that she had been working hard on herself. She said Finn and Deacon saw it, and Steffi might see it someday. Sheila recalled saving Taylor on the hospital roof, as well as saving Kelly. Finn flashed back to his moment of distraction and Sheila rescuing Kelly. He felt grateful that Sheila had been present. Deacon insisted that Sheila was not a threat to Finn's family. Sheila stated that she would go to any length to defend his family, recalling her confrontation with Sugar. Sheila wished she could save Steffi from that night. Finn replied that Steffi and the children were okay. Sheila appealed for just this one thing. She believed he could persuade Steffi and claimed that he was the reason she and Deacon got back together. She requested him to do it for her. Finn said he wanted Sheila to be happy, but he couldn't attend her wedding. Sheila felt it was because of Steffi, but he said it was due of himself and his dedication to his wife and children. He'd always put Steffi first. Finn wished Sheila well and then went. Later, Sheila stated that it had been a wonderful idea. Deacon scolded himself for thinking it was worth the effort. He hugged Sheila and apologized. Sheila reasoned that she'd raised her own hopes, and she assumed Finn's desire to travel was some sort of consolation. Sheila acknowledged she'd been preoccupied with the prospect of her son, sharing one of the most important days of her life. Deacon said that it would still be, and that he would get Sheila whatever she wanted, including a fire-eating pony. 
Sheila said that she did not want it. She was overjoyed that she was finally marrying a man who genuinely loved her for her. He assured her that she was not alone and never would be again. Deacon wishes he had convinced Finn. Sheila commented that Steffi would rather see Finn unhappy than feel differently about her. Deacon stated that Finn and Sheila will both be in pain. Sheila claimed she hadn't felt the same way about Finn as she did when he found her in the warehouse. Instead, Finn had been warm and courteous but distant, since Steffi would never accept it or believe Sheila was worthy of his affection. Finn arrived at the cliff house after Steffi had put the children to bed. She questioned what was up with him, and he answered he had a difficult day dealing with Sheila and Deacon. Steffi moaned, admitting she had assumed Sheila wouldn't be a problem for them. Finn said that this is why he wanted to tell her what had happened. Finn stated that Deacon and Sheila were getting married, and Deacon had asked him to be his best man. Steffi was furious, but Finn explained that he had informed Deacon that he couldn't do it. Steffi bet Sheila had urged him to reconsider his mind. Finn said that he had told Sheila the same thing. Finn couldn't attend their wedding because his commitment was to Steffi and their family. Steffi assumed this gave Sheila more reason to detest her. Finn argued that it was his decision, and that nothing came before his family. Can anyone get through to hope? The bold and the beautiful B&B spoilers for May 22, 2024 state that Hope's loved ones, as well as an enemy, are concerned that she has lost her mind. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. What's wrong with Hope Logan? Thomas Forrester, Matthew Atkinson, needs to return soon because it appears like Hope Logan, Annika Noel, has lost her mind. Hope has gravitated for John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, after his absence since they share a trait. Exiled criminal parents who now wish to marry each other. Trending. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Thomas's return in mid-June marks the beginning of a new story direction. What comes next? That has led Hope to believe that Sheila Carter, Kimberlyn Brown, can change. After all, Thomas has changed, correct? Not that Thomas and Sheila are even remotely similar. Deacon Sharp, Sean Cannon, even wants Hope to attend the wedding, and she is willing to do so. Everyone is outraged and attempting to reason with her. Can Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang, Rich Forrester, Torsten Kay, and Steffi Forrester Finnegan, Jacqueline McInnes Wood, pull this off? Steffi also worries why Hope has been so interested in anything her husband has to say lately. As Hope persists in her new Sheila love, Steffi continues to believe she is losing her mind. B&B spoilers. Sheila Carter has a request. While Finn has assured Steffi that he will keep away from Sheila, this is easier said than accomplished. He is still drawn to the madwoman who shot him and his wife and left them for dead, and she wants something from him. Is Sheila's summons to Finn and request related to her upcoming wedding? Is she asking Finn to hand her away? Does he still have to be Deacon's best man? Whatever Sheila wants is certain to cause problems for Finn and Steffi. Unless he fully takes Sheila out of his life, he risks losing his wife. Is Steffi being overly harsh or does she have a point? If Finn approves Sheila's request, he may not want to return home for a while. We're confident Liam Spencer, Scott Clifton, will be ready to pick up the pieces, but what happened to Ivy again?